hey family welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new i'm on here with y'all today because i need to get some things done around the house again of course and i also need to step out and pick up some things from walmart and i'm tell y'all i went to walmart with the intention of buying like one or two things and then I left out with much more than I went in for. So, um, so yeah, I want to just show y'all that while I tidy up around the house today. Cook a delicious meal, something that I've been cooking for years. And just hang out on here with you today. I need to get some laundry done as well. But before we get the laundry done, I noticed that there was some left behind hair here on this rubber hose part of my washing machine and I showed you the afresh tablets that I throw inside of my washing machine to get it nice and clean after I do my cleaning rags just so when we get ready to put our clothes in behind the cleaning rags everything has already been nice and disinfected but right here around this rubber hose things will accumulate so I'm just going ahead and taking care of that today with these disinfectant wipes that I bought from BJ's these really do come in handy I don't really like to wear them without gloves though because they are really loud and they kind of do leave that scent behind on my hands for a few hours so whenever I'm using them I do like to wear gloves but in today's video I just went ahead and grabbed them since I'm getting ready to go ahead and throw a load in and run my errand So I stepped out to Walmart and then I realized I had to go to Publix. Now while I was in Publix, they had this little toy in there that I picked up for one of the little girls in my family. She's actually my little cousin and she's four. And I thought this would be so cute for her. It's an actual little Publix hand basket with the two little handles. And then you have your Green Wise Eggs, which is the Publix organic brand. And then you have all the other little foods inside. So I just thought that was cute. Something to show y'all, right? Um, now, I did pass this beautiful set while I was walking in Walmart. I've been needing a crock pot for a long time. And I've also been wanting to pick up another air fryer. And I thought that this set was absolutely just like the box says, beautiful. It goes well in my kitchen. It was very inexpensive as well, but we'll get back into that in one second. I also picked up this riser because I need to organize my cabinets today with my spices because it's just a mess and I can't really see what's going on. I also picked up this 45 piece Cambridge silverware set because I have no idea where my silverware is disappearing to. And so what I actually needed the most were spoons. And then I just went ahead and got this entire set, which is so beautiful. I love the design on the handles and it has a 25 year warranty. And it was very expensive, y'all. It was $50 for that set, but it's very, very nice and of great quality. I also picked up these three uh, sleeping shirts from Walmart as well. They were $8 a piece. Very, very comfortable. This one says love book. This one just has a number of different writings on it. Talking about being in your pajamas all day. And the yellow one says, um, I think it says tweaked dreams because of the birds. These shirts are so, so comfortable. 
and i would advise that if you don't have them you need to run out and grab them sis because they are very comfortable and the quality is great and they even have pockets on the side so very much in love with these shirts i need to get my bathroom tidied up because i haven't cleaned my toilet in the last couple weeks and then i also want to clean the tub because i haven't cleaned it since my grandson left and then I also want to wipe down my shower glass door because my shower doesn't need a deep clean. It just needs the door to be wiped down today. I'm noticing that the fog is starting to build up. So in between my monthly shower cleaning, I go ahead and just try to keep the glass clean throughout that time because I don't like to see that build up get really out of hand, even though sometimes it does. So in today's, in today's video in the bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the toilet, the tub, and the shower door. When you're feeling overwhelmed by cleaning and all the many different tasks that you have to get done around the house as we all do, this is a great way to stay on top of things in between your deep cleans. You definitely want to make sure you are spraying and sprucing up and wiping things down in between your deep cleanings because everything or every day does not have to be a deep clean. Those are required at least once a month or maybe longer depending on your family situation. But to keep your toilets and tubs and showers and sinks and countertops, mirrors and that sort of thing wiped down in between your cleanings is a great way to prevent buildup. Many times we're overwhelmed by cleaning our homes because we don't stay on top of these things on a regular basis. And it's literally not that hard because as I mentioned, don't think of every time you clean as a deep cleaning. Just think of it as sprucing up, making sure that the toilet area where you spend your personal time is always clean and disinfected and your shower is looking nice because you definitely want to kind of take care of that on a regular basis and don't let that build up. Your tub, your sinks, your countertops, and your floors. Whatever you feel is necessary to get done in between your deep cleans so that it's not piling up on you by the time you get ready to do your deep cleans is what you should be doing on a regular basis in your home. Maintaining these habits should only take you about 15 minutes in each area to get done. If this is your first time here, then you would want to know that I always use something disposable to clean my toilet every time. What I clean my toilet with on the inside is disposable. I just use the Clorox Cleanup Disposable Toilet ones. And I also use disinfectant wipes to wipe my toilet down in order from top to bottom so that I'm not spreading bacteria. And then after I'm done, I will take some paper towels, spray them down with glass cleaner, and I will go over my toilet with that just to give it a nice clean street free shine after I'm all finished. Tom Kenji's saxophone will order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone So family, in the last video, I talked with y'all about us needing to get a lot of things done around the house. And I really just feel like me and David could really just do a lot of our own painting. Now, I don't know how to paint. I have 
painted before and I did it one time in a previous house that I was staying in that I was renting and I was allowed to do some painting and so I did the kitchen and the pantry area and that sort of thing and y'all it really turned out to be a disaster I don't know if it was because of the way the house was made up it was a really old house or if it was because of the type of paint that I chose or I don't know I just wasn't skilled and I'm still not skilled but David is very skilled at painting he um, painted our old house and it's just something that you know he's been doing his whole life y'all know men just they know that type of stuff right and so David is very good at painting and so I was talking to him the other day on the phone about us just kind of doing our own painting around the house and just kind of saving money you know to do those rooms that if he teaches me I can help him get done if when he's home on his downtime he actually feels like it because when David comes home I don't really want him doing a lot of things right which is why I'm always wanting to pay somebody to get these things done because David works hard he works a lot he's gone a long time when he's out so when he comes home I just really want him to relax and you know we hang out and spend quality time together and those sorts of things so I don't really like to work David when he comes home but I did talk to him about us you know painting the master the master bathroom and the master bedroom and so he says that if he's in the mood to do it he and I can get it done together um, and again he can show me you know how he wants me to work with him right it should be really easy because our ceiling and our walls are the same color so I imagine that all I would have to do is just fill in the crease between the ceiling and the wall at the top and then just roll the rest and then just make sure I have the baseboards covered so I'm not getting any paint on those and of course on the rugs and that sort of thing. So in this particular house, it should really be easy because the only other place where we have crown molding is in the front of the house. So in the bedroom and the bathroom, we don't have it. So it should be a pretty easy job. I also want to get a backsplash put around the tub in the bathroom. There's just so much I want to get done in the bathroom. But the first thing that I want to do is get the walls painted in this master bathroom and bedroom area because I haven't bought any more home decor as far as um, wall art because I'm trying to wait to get things painted. So once I get the bedroom and the master bathroom painted, I can start working on decorating in those two spaces more changing things around and that sort of thing but the paint is like the biggest deal right now before I go back shopping for any more home decor to just kind of start getting my bedroom finished off because I'm absolutely not finished because I have so much that I want to get done in the room because I'm such a cozy type of person and I love cozy I just want to cozy up the master bedroom even more and the rest of the house as well I'm nowhere near done I'm going to take y'all down in the basement eventually to show you what it looks like down there because, again, if you hadn't seen my house tour video when we first moved in, when we first closed on the house, then you probably don't remember or you just haven't seen it at all. So I think I'm going to take y'all down there in one video to show you what it looks like down there. That way you don't have to even go back and watch the, the, uh, the house tour if you don't want to. But yeah, so those are the things that I'm thinking about getting done around the house, you know, just to be able to put those dollars somewhere else. Um, I am really just trying to get over into the whole stop planning and start doing because I do a lot of planning, but then a lot of times I have poor execution with my planning. So I'm definitely getting out of that and I'm getting over into just going ahead and doing those things that I have wrote down on my list. And no matter how taxing they may be, I need to go ahead and get it done because, again, there are a lot of things that I just want to get done around the house. The weather is warming up, so definitely anxious to get the patio furniture 
um, set up out there. I want to purchase a rug. It's just so many things that I want to get done. I want to get the front porch fixed up because again, it's getting warm. And I said that I was going to start working on the outside of the house once the weather starts to warm up and we're almost there. So just really ready to get things done around here um, to, you know, get them looking how I want them to look. Since I'm not doing a deep clean of my shower or my bathroom today, I decided to not wet up the floor. So I went out to the garage and I got my step ladder and I just turned on the water and I stood on top of the step ladder to keep the door closed just to rinse the shower glass to prevent the water from getting all over the floor because I'm only washing the shower glass today. So that's the only place that I wanted the water to hit. the Swiffer for these smaller areas in my home like the bathrooms and the laundry room really comes in handy just to have this Swiffer just to go over the floors because these are areas that are not that dirty and so they never really need a deep mopping so the Swiffer works perfect for these areas. Last night I had a chance to get my vacuum cleaner cup cleaned out. It was long overdue. It was very dusty. And so I had an opportunity to go ahead and empty it and then go ahead and clean the filters at the sink with soap and water. And I just let it sit out overnight for it to dry. So now I'm ready to place it back on the vacuum cleaner so that I can mop my carpet in my bedroom. My bed is already taken care of and my furniture is already dusted. So nothing needs to be done in here. I actually did vacuum the floor about four days ago. So I'm going to go ahead and vacuum it again because I'm cleaning up or sprucing up in the bathroom today and I'm sprucing up around the house period. So I definitely want to put that fluff and those vacuum cleaner lines back into the carpet in my bedroom because it just helps the bedroom to feel more clean when the carpet is freshly vacuumed. Now, as you all know, I didn't previously have a TV in my room because I just didn't want a TV in my bedroom. A lot of times at night I'm in here reading, so I don't really have the TV on. But lately I kind of felt like I just wanted to have a TV in here. When I'm not reading, I want to have it in here for those nights when I just want to hang out in my bed with a nice little snack and watch a movie or a good TV show if I can find one. The Golden Girls, if you don't know, is actually my favorite show and I have seen every episode and every season over and over again sometimes i feel like it's the only wholesome thing on to watch 
since they have all these slapstick shows on now that just doesn't make any sense to me and i absolutely hate them so i just find myself reverting back to the old school stuff you know that used to make me laugh and so when my mom was in the hospital and she was very very sick she used to call me on the phone and say let's watch the golden girls together and so we used to watch the golden girls over the phone when my mom was in the hospital and so it actually brings back those sentimental memories for me of her as well so yeah i decided to just go ahead and put a tv in here now what this is an old tv so i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it i don't even have the stand for the tv anymore as you can see it's just kind of leaning against the wall but once we get the walls painted in here i think i'm gonna go ahead and purchase a new one and then just uh have it put on the wall because i just think tvs today look better on the wall anyway because that's actually what they're designed for I mentioned that this set was very expensive and I mentioned that it was $50. Now this did come from Walmart. So when I say very expensive, I do mean for it to come from Walmart. In my opinion, it was very expensive. I know that people spend triple that um, on silverware, but you know, for me, I thought $50 was a little expensive. So that's why I said that because some of y'all might have been thinking, girl, $50 is not even very expensive. I just meant picking it up from Walmart. I wasn't expecting to spend $50 on a set. But then again, as I mentioned, I had only planned to go in and purchase spoons and not an entire set. But when I saw this, I just thought it was gorgeous and I had to have it. Now, of course, you know, they have this really secure in here. So I'm going to have to take the time out to stand here and pop all of these zip ties that they really don't give you any room um, in between the set and the zip tie to even be able to break it apart. So I kind of had to work with it a bit, but I got it apart and it was worth it. It comes in this little, almost looks like a I don't know what kind of well, anyway it's a little rack as you can see it, it comes in that and it's very sturdy now i did buy this i don't know what you would do with that rack but hey it, it, that's the way it came so anyway i did purchase this riser i went to wash it and as you can see the residue from the sticker is left on really bad and the security seal is there as well once you peel the sticker away. It's also on the back. Now I did use uh, Dawn and I did use alcohol which is supposed to remove the residue from the stickers but it did not work. These type of things are really really horrible and so I took that back because I was not going to waste my money. So instead, I went and exchanged it for this wooden one, which I saw the first time, but I actually like the acrylic one better, which is why I picked it up. And um, 
and so I ended up with this one because this is the way a sticker is supposed to peel away. I'm not sure why these companies feel like it's a good idea to put those basically non-removable stickers on merchandise and expect for people to buy them and keep them because it's a really it's a real nuisance now this is the way my cabinet is looking i cannot see anything that is going on inside of my cabinets as far as my spices goes so this riser is really going to give me more of a visual um help Give me more visual help, if you will, as to how I can find my spices when I'm looking for them. Because right now they're just thrown up there and I cannot find anything. So as I mentioned, I don't buy a lot of organizers, but I do feel as though they have their place. And the cabinet with the riser is one place and also the pantry. I definitely feel like the pantry has uh, will need uh, organizers because we keep so many things in our pantries and, you know, bags and that sort of thing. So definitely organizers have their place in the pantry. So eventually I'm going to get to my pantry and organize in there and I'm going to buy a few containers to contain some loose items in there that needs to be contained. Now this recipe that I'm making tonight is a smothered chicken and it is going to be so delicious it's very easy to make and it is very cheesy so what i'm going to be using is cream of mushroom soup you'll see that in just a second as i season as as i finish seasoning the chicken and then i'm going to grate up some parmesan cheese for this recipe as well and then i also use the the main um uh, the the uh the star of the show with this recipe is Italian seasoning, which I also had to pick up while I was at Walmart because I didn't have any. And all of these herbs and seasonings with this Italian seasoning, the way they are mailed together in the bottle, just really gives the chicken and this recipe a really, really good taste. I don't want to be crazy no more. Every time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion you don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with, can you just reassure? pouring in the bottom of my pan right now it's just a little bit of chicken broth I like to use chicken broth to just kind of wet the bottom of my pan just a bit versus water because what it does is it keeps that flavor locked in and the water may more so drown it out so I like to use a little bit of chicken broth along with my olive oil in the bottom of my pan just to keep my pan nice and smooth and keep the chicken from sticking and sealing my flavor at the same time. Disguise as strength, body. Self-sabotage my love. Self-sabotage my love. Root of my own pain. No one's coming. Coming. Save no your baby girl. Hey, you got to save yourself. No 
now that I have the chicken in the oven and going, I'm going to come over here and unbox my kitchen appliances that I picked up today that I showed you earlier in the video. I picked up, a, again, an air fryer and a crock pot. And what I love about this set is that it has this little modern look and I don't mind that at all. I like that it's black and white and that it has this little gold handle. It's very girly to me and it goes so well in my kitchen and I can leave it on my kitchen countertop because it's not big and bulky like the regular air fryers that you buy. I've had one of those myself in my apartment and I just kind of really did enjoy the size of that. So this one was really neat to have and to see that it was as petite as it is. I love that. We don't do a whole lot of cooking in the air fryer anyway, even when I previously had it. So this size works out perfect. It could just sit in the corner over there by the refrigerator and just look really nice and not get in the way at all. Um, also, it came with this little recipe booklet, of course, they all do. And um, yeah, again, I just like how petite it is and this, you know, the design of this is really attractive. So when I walked past it in Walmart, I was like, this would be wonderful to take home. It was only, I think it was either $29 or $39. I think it was $39, but I thought $40 for this little air fryer was definitely a great deal. Now the crock pot was either $49 or $59. I can't remember which one, but it was one of those. And so I thought that was a really good deal. Recently, David purchased a mixer for me because I wanted to get over into baking. That's something that I want to learn how to do. So we ordered a KitchenAid mixer off of Amazon. But then when it got to us, it was something else. Now, I don't know whether or not we ordered the wrong thing or they just sent the wrong thing. But it didn't really matter because I decided that I wanted a crock pot instead. So once we sent the mixer back, I was supposed to replace it with the crock pot, um, you know, from something on Amazon since we did order the mixer on Amazon. But then I never did. And I'm glad I didn't because I was able to walk in and see this one, which goes with the air fryer, which makes it a set. And that's really attractive to me. I love that. I love that I'm going to have a matching set that is a crock pot and an air fryer. And so I like to, I haven't had a crock pot now for a couple years. I think I gave my last one to my daughter. And so that one did have a turn dial. And what I like about this one is that it does have the push button keys on it. So I like that a lot. That makes it even more modern, of course. And then um, I like to have those, I like to have a crock pot for those dump and go meals. Sometimes we don't always like standing over the stove. And so just being able to have the crock pot and just letting the food go and simmer all day long is really a plus when you're busy. The other thing that I like about this crock pot is that it has the gold handle just as the air fryer has. So it's very attractive and you can, again, you can use it in any aesthetic, but it definitely goes well with mine. The other thing that was attractive to me is that this crock pot also has this top holder. So when you're checking on your food in between its cooking time, you have somewhere to rest your pot versus having to sit it on your countertop or in the sink like I would normally do. So that was a very attractive feature to me as well. So very excited about this set. I popped in Walmart to spend $50 and I ended up spending 200 with everything that I came out of there with. But sometimes that just happens y'all because as women, our eyes are always so big when we go shopping. And so yeah, I walked out with two extra items and plus the gowns that I have as well. Um, you know, those are the, the three extras that I picked up that I am really enjoying at the moment. So we're just going to get some more laundry done. Right now I'm drying this first load before I move on to the other tasks that I have to get done tonight.
kind of threw a load or two of clothes at this point and I'm not going to fold them right away because I'm going to do it a little bit later. But when I take my clothes out of the dryer and I don't fold them right away, I will go ahead and turn them inside out um, and then um, or outside in, inside out, whichever. I will turn them the correct way and then I will just lay them all flat on the bed or on the back of the sofa and you all know I fold clothes a lot on the back of the sofa so I will either lay them in those two uh, spaces uh, one of the two of those spaces just lay them out flat so that they don't get wrinkled the one thing about me is that I hate wrinkled laundry and so if I just happen to leave some clothes in the dryer overnight and don't get to it I will turn the dryer on the next day for about five or ten minutes just to put some more heat back in my clothes and knock out those wrinkles because I like to always feel like I'm folding fresh uh, laundry from the dryer. I don't like to fold wrinkled laundry. Laundry is not a daunting task for me. I actually don't mind doing laundry and I don't mind folding at all. This is one of those tasks that I do um, and I'm just in a zone and I'm just really, really thinking while I do it. And so I just like to see everything neat around the house all the time. I don't like to look at laundry lingering and that sort of thing. I don't like to see laundry piling up in the laundry room when it's dirty. So it's just one of those tasks that most people find daunting. But for me, I go ahead and take care of it so that it's not um getting on my nerves and being one of those things that i just don't want to deal with so i always make sure that i am handling my laundry in a way that makes it easy for me to get it done so now i'm gonna go ahead and tackle the cabinet while the chicken is still cooking since that's gonna be cooking for a little while it's giving me an opportunity to multitask cook and do the things that i need to do at the same time so um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything moved out of the cabinet to get my bottles wiped down and to place the items that are already in here on the shelves that I think, you know, would make sense for them to go. So I just want to do a little bit of straightening. Of course, I want to face all of my labels forward since I am cleaning out the cabinet today. It doesn't always stay that way, of course, throughout usage and that sort of thing. But at least on that initial clean, I am able to get everything face forward and looking neat. Now, this riser that I'm going to put in the cabinet for my spices was a real game changer for me, y'all. I've never had one. I've never found the need for it right but it when all of my spices were thrown up in the cabinet the way that they were and I just find myself just sifting through them to try to find what I need it just became a headache and so once I added this spice riser to my cabinet it just organized things really well and I'm really excited that I picked it up I really am I mean I just it it, it really helps a lot so if you don't have one I really will recommend that you go out and get one. I don't have a ton of spices because I only cook with certain things. I pretty much cook with the same spices all of the time. Um, adding in one or two to three new things sometimes. But as far as my spices, I don't have a ton of those because again, I pretty much use the same spices all the time. I feel like if I had a whole bunch more than I already have, they would probably end up going bad and just never get used and then I'm just wasting a bunch of money. If you can't tell, I am definitely trying to start, you know, figuring out ways to save my pennies, okay? So yeah. As you can see this spice riser 
does extend so that's a really nice feature with this as well that's the one thing that the acrylic one did not do i did not actually need the extended part today but it's nice to know that if i ever need more of this then i can definitely extend it out and use it it was like 15 dollars at walmart so not a bad price it's wood and it also matches the inside of my cabinet Look, leave me all on red, that's some cold hold Then you hear me late at night, you some bold out, yeah But you already know that, yeah And I love it when you throw that, yeah Shawty, where you sold at? Baby, where you goes at, yeah Thinking like a you be moving like a Got me checking for you go next, yeah You be told her keep calling All of my feelings, I'm all in she be playing games, she spotting. Always fade away as it take, keep pausing. Steady with the pivot like Jordan. I've been trying to run the play, she pausing. I've been trying to plan the day, she stalling. Think she ain't ready for me. So beware, she's scared of loving me. So beware, she's scared of commitments. So beware, she's scared of loving me. So beware. She not the girl I used to know What you tryna use me for? Know what you tryna bruise me for? Plus you hear me late night and night Tell me come over Wanna get some d in dip, I know, yeah Crazy thing I still come over Crazy thing I'm still So she where she scared of loving me So beware, she scared of commitments I feel like I'm always rushing to get things done around the house because for some reason I feel like we've been in this house a lot longer than we have and y'all we have been in this house for almost a year it will be a year in May and it is now February and so we have not even been in this house a year which is so crazy to me the time just moves really fast and so it just makes things seem like they're happening i guess longer than they actually are to me that's the way it feels so yeah considering the short amount of time that we've been here i definitely need to calm my nerves and get myself together honey because i've come a long way within being in this house uh less than a year so these are some empty spice jars that you just saw me showing you they're glass and so i'm going to wash them out and let them dry because i don't like to throw those away they're really nice and so i like to keep them for what i'm going to keep them for i'm not sure but i don't like to get rid of them so this is the end result of my cabinet after adding the spice riser and organizing everything and facing my labels forward do y'all see how different that looks and what a difference that made to the cabinet I am absolutely loving this. Now, this was also good for this reason here because I use these vegetable bouillon cubes and I always sometimes forget to use them because they're just thrown up in the cabinet because I can't see them. And now it's actually on my spice rack where when I'm grabbing my spices, I can also remember to grab my bouillon cubes as well and not forget that they're up there. So now they have a... Uh, place as well now i have gotten all of the silverware out of its container 
and I just have it in this hot soapy water just to soak and I'm going to let that soak for quite a while and then I'm just going to separate them all and wash them individually just to make sure whatever is on them from the factory or whatever is off before I dry them and put them all away. I definitely want to make sure I don't leave behind water spots and that sort of thing on them since they are brand new. So I'm definitely going to be drying them by hand before I place them into the drawer. You don't care what you're doing to me. I've been down in the ruins so deep. All the games they have played, all the love you've forsaken, you let it slip away. Oh, 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 oh. You don't care what to do to me. Every setback, every mishap, every time you say you're going to change. Say so you get it, you regret it, I forgive it, but you stay the same. You should cry an ocean for me. For the dumb shit and the damage you've done. Cause I've been crying oceans for weeks. Try to fight it, but I'm drowning alone. house and I would say even before then I have just been working on a lot of growth for myself in my life just elevating to different levels in my life as long as we are alive we are constantly supposed to be evolving and learning and purging those old things away from us the Bible tells us to put off the old man and so I'm always constantly putting off the old me and I'm always trying to put on the new me. Now I'm showing you this just to interject real quick because everything is washed and clean. The kitchen was already clean today so I didn't have much to do. Um, so that's why you don't see me cleaning the kitchen. All I had to do was just start the dishwasher this morning so that when I came in from the store, all I had to do was prepare dinner. I got my mushrooms because I'm going to be using fresh mushrooms along with the cream of mushroom soup in the recipe. And then again, I just have the silverware soaking. So everything is nice and clean. And I want to get my comforter changed up here on the guest bed. As you can see, this one doesn't hang over as much. So you can see the box spring a lot, which I did used to have a box spring cover, but I think it just kind of got lost during the move. Um, so I talked to y'all in one of my videos about how I like to have king size comforters on my queen size bed because it just hangs and looks nice. And so I decided to use the comforter that I originally bought for my bed downstairs upstairs. It also goes with the decorative pillows that are already on the bed. And so it just keeps my little country look going up here in this room. Now, what I was saying was that I'm always evolving as a person. And so 
sometimes when we're growing, and I want to say this to you because sometimes when we're growing and purging and evolving as adults, a lot of times in life, as we grow, we can sound like we are walking contradictions, right? But sometimes, and don't be afraid to sound like you're contradicting yourself in life is what I really want to let you know. Because sometimes that happens. Contradictions are a part of life. A lot of times we say one thing and we do another because we are human beings walking in the flesh, right? And so sometimes there are things that we like and then there are things that we don't like. And then there are times where we'll find that those things that we don't like so much, we end up liking. And so we just kind of incorporate those things into our lives. And then other people will look at you and say, well, you said, you know, as if they don't do it. So as human beings, you know, never be afraid to contradict yourself sometimes. It happens. We change, right? We change. And so change is always a good thing if you're doing it for the better. And then, you know, it, it is going to make you sound like you're kind of flip-flopping at times. But I even embrace those imperfections about myself because I don't beat myself up about anything. And I'm a truthful person. And I don't, I don't ever have to worry about keeping up with what I say because I know that because I'm an honest person, that's not something that I have to do. But there are times in life where I will sound like I'm contradicting myself, but that's the human side of me. I took my daughters on a vacation to Florida once and you all may have heard me tell this story before in my old, old vlogs, but we were on the beach. And my daughter, they were having, my daughters were having a really good time and they were out there and they were just enjoying the waves and the ocean water and that sort of thing. And so I began to join them and the waves were knocking me down as they were coming in right towards the shore. And so I felt like, well, this is just not fun because I just keep getting knocked down by the waves. And my daughters said to me, when you're out there, mom, you have to jump with the waves. If you're not jumping with the waves, they are going to knock you down. So as the tides roll in, make sure you jump and then you land on your feet and you don't have to worry about falling. Well, when my daughter said that to me, it just really was something that resonated with me, right? I took that as a metaphor for life. In life, y'all, we have to sometimes jump with those waves in order to not get knocked down and stay on our feet. Because what it does is proves our strength and that we made it through that thing that we never thought we would make it through. We made it through all of the naysayers and those people that said we couldn't and that put us down and said things about us that weren't true and just made all kinds of assumptions about you, right? Those are the waves that we have to jump with because that's life, especially when you are living your life on this internet. There are going to be a lot of criticisms coming at you, but you always have to, as an adult, remember who you are. And that way, those things, those particular waves can never knock you down. Now, in no way am I telling you to just walk around contradicting yourself all over the place and that's okay. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not encouraging you to be delusional. Absolutely not. So don't take it like that. But y'all know what I'm saying. I need to lock up. I need to step back. Constantly online, causing me setbacks soon. Every day see so many people doing the things you do. And they're doing it better too. It's like, why should I even try? Well, there's always some other guy who's way ahead of you, but makes it look easy. Why would they need me? Oh, I hear it now. I'm just being needy. I try not to envy you, to get angry you, do it better than me. I try not to hate myself, to lose confidence, but you always do it better than me. I just wanna be loved like you I 
cream of mushroom soup in the pan and or in the pot I have added my fresh mushrooms into that mixture along with my parmesan cheese and then I added a little bit of half and half because we didn't have any heavy whipping cream and so I just added some half and half that was in there just to kind of loosen up the soup a bit and give it that uh, creamy texture that I'm gonna be looking for once I pour it over the chicken so this is my cream sauce that I use to pour on top of the chicken and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper and you can season it as much as you like but since I season my chicken so well I don't feel a need to really season my cream sauce like that because it's all gonna balance out really good especially with the little bit of um, roux that I have in the bottom of my pan just wanna be the one If you have made it this far into the video and you are new here, welcome. I also want to say welcome back to my lovely family that's always here supporting me. You know I always appreciate your love and support family. But to the newcomers, if you have made it this far into the video, my name is Stephanie and this is my channel, of course, helping you create a beautiful space for yourself through proper cleaning and cleaning motivation. I am a professional house cleaner with 13 years of experience, plus my own housekeeping service, even though I am getting out of the business, offering cleaning tips on how to keep your home in tip top shape. Be sure you are subscribed so that you can always be around to pick up what I am putting down. I am well versed in how to fully take care of all things housekeeping, and I love it. My uploads are every Sunday at 6 p.m. Now, I am just going to take my chicken out of the Dutch oven and place it on the plate because what I want to do is drain some of this oil and some of this broth off of the bottom so that when I add my cream sauce, I'm not getting a really liquidy sauce by the time it cooks through. But I want it to be kind of thick almost because of the cheese. And so I don't want that drowned out by the liquid that's in the bottom of the pan. But I do have enough roux in the bottom of the pan to also uh, mix well with my cream sauce.
After I added my sauce and the first top layer of cheese, I put it back in the oven for about 15 minutes just to let it get that little crust on top and to melt my cheese that was mixed in with the um, mushroom soup. And so that was how it turned out. Looks really good. I did add another extra layer of cheese on the top and I put it back in the oven for about five minutes just to let it harden or not really harden but you know get that little cheesy crust on the top and so it was very very delicious we had broccoli and I made broccoli and rice with this I also like to do egg noodles with it sometimes if I'm gonna mix it all together so if you're in a pasta mood definitely do try the egg noodles with it because I absolutely love that to pick up some more rice while I was out at Publix today and so I just found this new organic brand by these uh, by this woman owned company so I just decided to try it so I need to get my rice container filled back up since I did use the last of it for tonight's dinner so this is one of the tasks that I definitely wanted to get done before I shut down the kitchen tonight <music>
so now that dinner has been all prepared and fixed and eaten I just have a couple of last things that I have to do which is this last load of laundry and then I need to get the trash out to the trash can tonight I have folded some of the laundry and I have put some of it away I still have a ton of underwear to fold because I have a ton of underwear but I always do that off camera because I don't want my underwear plastered all over the internet that is just not how I roll so I always have a lot of that to fold and I usually make that and my socks the last thing that I do so until next time i want to say i love you thank you for cleaning with me tonight and until next time bye